Hey guys, today I'll be changing the sway bar links on a 1997 Buick LeSabre Custom. So first off, let's drive this thing up on some ramps, or you could jack it up so that we can get under it to change the sway bar links. So this is the sway bar link. It consists of the bolt and a nut on top and some rubber bushings and a spacer there. This here is the sway bar. This one here looks okay from the outside. The Bushings are all there. It should have a bolt going up through it like that, but I'll show you the other side And that's what the other side looks like you can see that that bolt is just plain busted off there That's the hole. It's supposed to go through So that's why I'll be changing those today And I'm gonna change both of them because more than likely the other side is mostly rusted out as well so I'll start off just kind of spraying them with some liquid penetrant. Alright, now to get this one off, I'm just going to use a pair of ice grips on top. Then use a 13 millimeter socket on the bottom. Alright, now to get the rest of this out, it doesn't just pull down nicely like I'd like it to. But, we're essentially just going to pull this bolt out the bottom that way. Now since the other side's already busted, I can go ahead and tip the sway bar up. Otherwise I'd have to take the nut off the other side to do this. Then I can pull off these rubber bushings. Now this top part of the spacer was stuck to the bolt. And had a bunch of rust and stuff on it so I just hit it with a hammer until it busted off I didn't catch it on video sorry but now you should be able just to pull the rest of the spacer off or maybe bust it off too now I'll go ahead and bust the bottom part of the spacer off And there it went. All right. Now on this side, I'll just pry around on this spacer and see if I can get it busted so it'll come off. There. All right, now that one's out too. Now I can get ready to put in the new ones. Before I put the new ones in, I'm going to clean up these surfaces so that there won't be any rust contact in the new sway bar links. I'll do that on both sides. Alright, here's the replacement sway bar link kit I got from Napa. Just wanted to give a quick shout out to Brian for dropping that off for me after work. Thank you. And here's a side by side comparison of the old ones to the new ones you can tell the new ones have a little bit different design but it looks like they're the right dimensions and everything so we're ready to throw those in I'm on the passenger side and I went ahead and put some anti-seize on the bolt I already put on a washer and the first rubber pad I'm gonna kind of thread stuff on as I go there's the second rubber pad Now the second washer, now this spacer, now a third washer, and a third pad. Now this much will go up through the sway bar. Now for the fourth final rubber and the final washer and then finally the nut.
I'll just get that started and then I'm going to put on the the sway bar link on the other side before I tighten this one down. So that way I have slack to move the sway bar up and down still. I might have to take that nut and this top stuff off too so I have more slack. So let's go to the other side. I'm over here on the driver's side. I went ahead again and put on the first washer and rubber pad. So I'm going to thread stuff up as I go again. And here's the second pad. Now for the second washer. Now for the spacer. Now for the third washer. Now for the third rubber. And see if I can get it wedged up in there. I'm going to loosen the nut on the other side of the sway bar so I have some more slack. Alright, now I loosen the nut on the other side so I have some more slack. I can shove this side under. Now I can go ahead and put on the top rubber and the top washer and the nut. Alright, now that I got the nut started, I can tighten it up a little bit. And this bolt and nut happens to be 9 16 Alright, I went ahead and actually grabbed a ratchet wrench for the top part. I figured I better tighten the nut instead of tightening the whole bolt. Tighten them to about 15 or 20 foot pounds. All right, now I'm back on the passenger side and ready to tighten it down. All right, now we are done. And that is how you change the sway bar links on a 1997 Buick LeSabre Custom. Thank you guys for watching.